Hey guys, what's happening? I'm doing the Anderson's Tramway Walk, which is a part of the Goldfields track today with my little daughter Paisley, who is three. And we're gonna be seeing how far a three-year-old can hike today. Hey Paisley. She's got her new special hat on, Under Armour hat. How cool is that? And we're ready to hit the trail and have a good time. I'm really... Hit the trail. I'm really excited about this trail because it is going to be so beautiful and so scenic. So we're going to be going from Molengip to Wombat Hill Station. All right, guys. So let's make this happen, Paisley. Okay. Let's make this happen. Guys, if you're into hiking and camping and family adventure, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notification bell and give this video a thumbs up so that I know you like this video and I can produce more content like this. All right, guys, I'll check in with you soon. Guys, we're actually wandered off the trail a little bit um, because I was just so distracted trying to get that through that slippery slope with this little one here. So we're just taking a bit of a 10 minute detour to get back on the track. I'm a little bit worried that I'm missing out on something cool on the trail, but sometimes you Corner off course a little bit. Still following this road. Let's back up onto the trail. So we've made it back onto the trail. <laughs> and that detour took way longer than I anticipated. Um, but we saw so many kangaroos, unfortunately, I was a little slow to catch them. Let's go see them. You see them? Yeah. What did you see? Good girl, let's go and have a look. Come on. There it is, guys. Trail marker. I'll tell you what, getting back on that trail was a bit of a mission. Hey Paisley.
I'm not even going to interrupt her like touching those trees because she's pretty much racing between each of the trees and moving at a two kilometer an hour pace, which is better than the pace you were traveling. Back there. So I've ended up <laughs> basically fully basically in a makeshift backpack. The um backpack I'm using is totally, totally not um recommended for this. But we're gonna see how we go just for 10 minutes so she can have a little bit of a rest. And this kind of just leads me to my Next thought, I definitely need to pick up one of the Osprey Pocos and that way I'll be able to carry this little kid properly because I think she needs to be carried so if I'm going to do any kind of long distance hike, any kind of through hike with family, that will be my lot, carrying the little rascal. Yeah, so that kind of answers my question, how far can a three year old walk? Alrighty. Yeah, so I've confirmed my biggest fear that I do need a child carrier. Um, but that's okay because like using this backpack, although it's not actually a child carrier today, was beneficial because they're actually not so bad. Um, that backpack was not bad at all. I did stop though after just over a kilometer because it's just, yeah, probably not the safest for the little one. But she did have a little nap. She's feeling very refreshed. And she's ready to hit the trail again. So we're pretty much gonna see how far we can make it. I, it's not very far at all, actually. I can't even believe this is a seven and a half kilometer track or trail because it's, it's just the time is just flowing by. So we'll probably be finishing in about an hour. But now I'm gonna try and get some awesome footage for you guys. It's been one heck of a ride so far, really. Um, yeah, I really want to catch some beautiful shots of what's actually out here and why you might be interested in doing this portion or the entirety of the golf course track.
Lucky. Lucky. It's Bucky. It's Bucky. It's Bucky. It's Bucky. It's Bucky. And jump. <laughs> hey guys, we're just outside of the dam, and this whole area just feels so well watered, and it is absolutely like luscious this is this is a, probably the most beautiful part of the track so far and yeah. i'm going to show you up at this clearing up here it just looks absolutely stunning check this out guys look at this paisley How you doing up there, Paisley? Good. You're good? Yeah. You having fun? Yeah. <laughs> so we're about 300 meters out of Wombat Station, which is where my wife is going to meet us. So, Keep trekking, this one's really, really knackered. She's done really well today. This is her second sleep on the trail, which is classic Paisley. Hey darling. So guys, I made it to the pergola at Wombat Station. I've got a sleepy little girl here. I just carried her out for the last kilometer and a half of the track. Um, feeling pretty good. It's been a bit of a peaceful experience probably the low of the track was having a whinging toddler <laughs> no no so probably the highs and lows of the track guys the high of the track was the dam the whole scenery out there is just absolutely remarkable it's remarkably stunning actually and it's worth visiting even by car it's definitely accessible the low of the 
track was probably um, maybe repetitive scenery. It was. It's actually a pretty short track, seven and a half kilometers. Um, and yeah, the high of the track again was probably the laugh I had with Paisley along the trail, um, which was pretending to eat like a pig. <laughs> so that was quite cute. Yeah, but overall pretty cool, pretty cool experience, guys. Really looking forward to the next 20 kilometers of this portion of the Wallaby track, 20 kilometers to Dalesford, and then we'll be kicking off the dry diggings track. So guys, if you like this video, if you want to follow along for the rest of my journey on the Goldfest track, go ahead, hit subscribe, smash that like button, and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I release a new video on hiking, one of my hiking adventures, a family adventure, or a gear review. Alright guys, as always, have a great day.